Hi folks, this is Shefik. Today we are going to focus on the recent research we published about the face library. In this research paper, we basically focused on the best configuration set of the face, including facial recognition model, face detector, distance metric, and alignment bot. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. The research paper we are going to talk about is available under the deface repositories readme file. You can access it with this batch or under the citation section you are going to find its bib text. This article is published in Gazi University's the International Journal of Information Technologies and also this work is published under the supervision of Associated Professor Alper Özpınar and the content of the article is available publicly. Of course, you don't have to read all this article, but if you skip the tables page 102, you are going to see six different tables. Columns are representing facial recognition models and rows are representing face detectors. Also, another two dimension values, which are distance metric and alignment mode are shown as separate tables. As you may know, the face is working like a automatic car or flight with autopilot. But I mean, if you call it verify function, you just need to send the exact paths of image pairs. Here, image1.jpg and image2.jpg are the exact paths. And this is going to return the result. You don't have to set anything else, but of course you can tune it like a manual car. And let's focus on the source code of the deface. For example, if you don't set anything to model name, then the model is going to be VGG face, but you can set model as FaceNet, FaceNet 512, Open Face, Deep Face, Deep ID, Delip, Arc Face, S Face, and Ghost FaceNet also. Similarly, if you don't set anything to detector backend, then OpenCV face detector is going to be used. But if you want to tune, you can set it to Retina Face, MTCNN, SSD, Delip, Media Pipe, YOLO, Center Face, or you can skip the face detection step. What's more, for distance metric, the default value is cosine similarity, cosine distance, but alternatively you can set it to Euclidean or L2 normalized Euclidean distance. And finally, align mode is active by default, but you can set it to false to disable it. So in this research, we basically investigated the results of this configuration sets. As I mentioned, Distance metric is cosine distance, it's cosine distance and enabled alignment. This table is going to be run with the default configuration. Also, the default facial recognition model is VGG face and the default face detector is open face. In other words, if you perform the face dot verify with just exact image paths, then you are going to get 87 dot point percent accuracy score on labeled face in the wild data sets test data set. On the other hand, as mentioned in the written file, human beings accuracy score on same data set is 97.5. So if you run the face with the default configuration, this is going to show slightly lower performance than human beings. But as you can see in these tables, some values are highlighted boldly. This means these configuration sets pass the human level accuracy. And the best score retrieved from the configuration sets is 97.4. We reached that score in the last two tables and both are coming from FaceNet 512 facial recognition model and Retina face face detector. So if you want to reach the best accuracy score in the face library, you should use FaceNet 512 facial recognition model, retina face, face detector, cosine distance or Euclidean distance as distance metric and enabled alignment mode. This is 0.9, almost 1% higher than the human level accuracy score. 
Also, another important outcome of this research as mentioned in the README file of repository, please visit the facial recognition models section in the README, then you are going to see a table. These are the uh, reached or measured best course of each facial recognition model. And as you can see, just FaceNet 5.2 passed the human level accuracy score. On the other hand, FaceNet, regular FaceNet is coming close to the human beings. DLIP, VGG face and ARC face have acceptable scores. They are very close. Ghost FaceNet S face shows slightly lower performance than the acceptable scores. And finally, open face, deep face and deep ID models show poor performance. You should focus on the measured score column because these are measured from deep face library. On the other hand, original papers of these models uh, may show different score values. For example, deep face shows 97.3% accuracy score in the original paper, but this is very lower than the score in the deep face library because deep face library is using an open source implementation of deep face model. Even though its backbone model is shared publicly, its weights are not published publicly. So we are adopting its open source implementation. That's why we cannot use the real model. Or VGG face published its pre-trained weights, but we have different score than the original paper. This may be because of the adopted pre-normalization technique or detector technique this is mentioned in this paragraph. So you should focus on the measured score to see the rich scores of facial recognition models from the face. As mentioned here, you should see the benchmarks page because uh, just after we published this paper, we added a couple of new facial recognition models and face detectors. For example, ghost face net is not available in the columns here. Also YOLO and UNET or center face or fast empty CNN are not available in the rows. So you can see the whole table, extended table of the research paper in this page. Here you are going to find the newly added ghost face net, YOLO, UNET, center face models and still the best score is 97.4 and you can see the row curves of different facial recognition models for their best configuration set and as you can see facenet 512 is the best model in the deep faces portfolio finally you should visit the evaluate results notebook uh, there are important outcomes in this notebook file basically here we are showing the accuracy scores but here for example alignment impact if you would not adopt the alignment mode you may remember that at default value is true but if you set this to false then you are going to lose you are not going to have this improvements in arc phase alignment mode improves the score almost 6%. Similarly, what's the detection impact over the accuracy? The best score comes from ArcFace again and it's up to 40%. It's very important. So in other words, we can understand that detection and alignment are very important stages of facial recognition pipelines. Also, you can see that if you skip the detection step, for example, with FaceNet model, you are going to get almost 60% score. But if you start to use the detector, then the score jumps to 90%. So in this video, we focus on the recent research paper of the Face library titled a benchmark of facial recognition pipelines and co-usability performances of modules. And in this research, we are basically focusing on the impacts of configuration sets in the face library. Finally, source code of the study is available under the benchmarks folder. If you run perform experiments first and evaluate results second, then you are going to get the same results. I hope this research will contribute to academic field. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.